I'll use this, that, and they'll probably climb up on that tree and then swing and splash. You could just about eat those in a great time, but this is just a beautiful spot out here to come explore, take a walk in nature and enjoy every moment. Hey folks, welcome back. Mike here, and of course today we're down at Aura Vale Lake, down here in a suburb of Selby. It's a beautiful place. We're back in nature, and we're going to have a look around this gorgeous, gorgeous lake. Of course, as you see, there is fantastic car parking here. There's no worries about that. They've got the port loose over there if you need to uh, do a little bit of that business type of thing, but it's a beautiful day here. I'm going to go and have a little bit of a look around. If you want, you can kayak, you can canoe, you can fish here. Uh, you can take the boat out. It's quite nice. All right, let's go and have a little bit of a look around this beautiful place, Aura Vale Lake, down here in Selby. Oh, wow, look how beautiful this is. This is gorgeous. Tell you what, folks, uh, this is a nice place. You've got to come on down and have a look. So have a look at that view as we just walk through here. This is actually down uh, the boat ramp here. So if you want to put your boat in there, tell you what, she's a little bit steep if you want to put your boat in. But that's all right. At least there's access there. I'd probably recommend, probably recommend you have a four-wheel drive or something to put this in. Uh, I don't know whether that actually shows you how steep this is or how rocky it is. But that's the boat ramp going back up there. But it's nice, just a little bit of a lake. I think we're on the other side of Cadinia Lake here, which is over on the other side there. But you've got the ducks in there. Got the beautiful trees there if you want to do your photography. Ira's down here at the moment. She's with me somewhere. She's taking some photos. She's having a great time. But this is just a beautiful spot out here to come explore, take a walk in nature and enjoy every moment. So as you can see folks, Ira's there, she's taking a few photos. You're happy with this place down here today? Yeah, so beautiful, beautiful light, beautiful sky. I have my two uh, artistic Cameras, the vintage one. No, it's got the both cameras. That's what it's about, folks, down here. As you can see, it's beautiful nature. You can get the ducks through there. You can get everything here. So you just come down, take your time, enjoy.
so that was a little bit of aerial view of the lake. As I said, it's a good sized lake. It's not, it's not overly that big, but I'm pretty sure this lake actually joins up with Cadinia Lake, our drinking water. So, but this isn't, this isn't quite recommended to swim in this part. And I'm not too sure why, but um, I don't know. It's still good for, it's still good for, I'm not gonna walk that way. Yeah. Because look, all the puddles looks a little bit wet, so I'm gonna have to probably go around the tree. <laughs> have to go around the tree. Although it's been nice and sunny here, um, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad if it's if it's been dry. The ground's pretty good. If it's been a little bit wet. You might find a little bit of uh, dampness underground. But you know, I'm just in my sneakers today. Beautiful day here. It's probably about uh, 20 degrees. The sun shining. It's beautiful. You know, bring a picnic down here, folks. Bring a picnic, enjoy the day. As I say, just relax, take a walk around all the area. You're gonna love it. All right, we're just gonna go for a little bit more of a walk and see what else is around this lake. All right, so there we are, Aura Vale Lake. And of course, there we go. The water quality, unsuitable for swimming. Never paddle alone. Always use an approved helmet and personal flotation device. There we go, so that is the warning board there where we sit and of course there's no information there. Unfortunately, there's none in there, just this. I have got this little bit here. Warning, no sailing permitted, no fishing permitted, no swimming permitted, do not touch or drink the water, but I've read reviews where people, you know, they put their line in and have a little bit of a fish. All right, let's continue the walk around this beautiful place. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, there's Ira. Go down and see what she's up to. Quack, 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 quack. Little ducky coming up to say hello, probably wanting a little bit of bread or something. I don't know, I don't think it said don't feed the ducks. Madam's just sitting there, enjoying it. Nice, mm. relaxing. Capturing a bit of the sun. Look at that view you've got. Wow we. So there's the view folks. You can have a picnic table there. Bring your picnic, bring a hot coffee. You can see, just watch the ducks there. Quack, 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 they're coming up. Here come the rest. Go on duckies. There they go, back to the water. They've come and said hello. It's time to go for a swim. All right, so we're not too sure how far you can actually walk around this lake. But we're gonna have a little bit of a look. While we're here, uh, we wanna show you folks where you can go, if you can go there. Sound good, Ira? Yeah, adventure. Adventure, that's it, a little bit of adventure. But um, we were just thinking maybe, like our thoughts, here now, we're just this section here that we're sort of showing you where we've been, where we've been walking. So we're going to just try and just hike up here a little bit, uh, up this way, and we will try and find a little bit of a path around the lake, maybe through the trees and the bushes and all that type of stuff. That'll be a little bit of fun, exploring. Um, that should be good. Right. We're going to have a look anyway. We'll continue on the journey. See what we see what we can find. So, even walking just around this bit, it is fenced off here, just where Ira is there. But you still get to see beautiful views, etc., like that through the trees. And as you're walking around the perimeter of this lake, it's still uh, still nice just to take it all in, capture a little bit of the lake down there. As we continue walking up this way, it's all about enjoying your time. All right, so we came across this beautiful white tree. This is a paper bark tree. We'll just have a look at it in a moment. And if you haven't got any paper and you've got a pen, you can actually, look how thin that is. The paper, the bark, and it just peels off like that. Can see that more in the sunshine. 
Look how gorgeous that tree is. The layers. That's the paperbark tree. Isn't that pretty? So, a few delicacies in the world of this nature. Look at that gorgeous, pretty yellow, delicate little flower. All right, so there seems to be a little bit of a track here that we can walk. As I said, I'm not too sure how far. We're amongst a few fallen trees. The lake's still on the left, but there's a little bit of a park pathway down here. It might just go down to here, but we'll see. So we couldn't actually continue forward that way because it was all the blackberry bushes, but it does take us down to this other little bit of a path. And of course, some kids have obviously put a rope here, tied it to the tree. My gosh, I don't know how the, I don't know I don't know how they got up there, but they got this. They'll use this, that, and they'll probably climb up on that tree and then swing and splash. Well, there you go. There's something if you want to go for a little bit of row, row, row your boat around the uh, around the lake. This is just sitting here. Uh, does look a little bit of a wreck. I don't know whether someone's actually left it there uh, so they can use a little bit later on. Or, I don't know, or anyone can use it. But there you go. There's the things you can find when you're just wandering around a lake. But I like that. We can have a little bit of a play. There is a little bit of a, a walkway down here. And I think we might be able to walk down that way a little bit. But that looks all right there. Uh, should probably have a little bit of a look. I'm actually not sure where... <laughs> I'm not sure where Ira's got to at the moment. I think she's still up taking photos, but that's that's what it's all about, folks. You've been in nature. You know, you've got the beautiful, beautiful trees around you, the scenery of the lake, the walkways, like we're on there. You know, what more can you say, folks? Just walking along, walking along the water, beautiful sunshine. I don't know where Ira's got to. She's coming somewhere. But yeah, while we're doing this, we walking down. Look at that path. Look at that beautiful, beautiful park. This is the thing. This is the thing, folks. Uh, you know, when you get out in nature, you go and explore these little parts, the lakes, etc., like that. It's amazing what you uh, what you find, what you see, where you walk. I love it. I love it. Gorgeous day. And you know what I always say. You know what I say, I, I think some of the best times to do this type of stuff is during the weekday, if possible, if you can. Because there's not many people here. There was probably just a couple people here up in the car park, that was it, and then it was just us. But you get to walk around here peacefully, serenity, you know, on your lonesome, to enjoy all this. We tracked down Ira. She was busy taking photos. We got a little bit lost, but that's all right. Yeah, I was like a mystery lost. I just turned around and where is Mikey? Nowhere, no sound. Just alone. I thought, <laughs> like, it's like from the horrible movie when people disappear. When they disappear, yeah, I didn't disappear. Oh. I was just down here doing some video. It was very but scary. I know, it's beautiful down here though. All right, we, let's go and see if we can walk down here. I really don't know if we can. I saw one man walk from this side. All right, so we might be able to get down here, folks. That's okay. But the way not really good. Not really good, but that's what exploring is all about. All right, I'm not sure about this part. This is, my gosh, this is pretty wet. All right, I think Ira's given up on this bit. I can understand why we're coming into long grass here and of course we might get into snake territory if you continue around there but it does look like it does look like some people have walked through here up there a bit but yeah that probably might run into a couple of Joe Blakes up there so that's what was said on the website so I think I'd be a little bit careful. Um, 
still down here by the by the wake so I might take Ira back down on that other track and we'll have a look as you can see the blackberry bushes with all the prickles she's a bit wet all right let's head back the other way I think that's a good recommendation folks especially coming into the warmer season I don't know whether I'd chance going back the other way you know the other way does look does look inviting but you always got to be cautious when you track and you're sort of out here just you know just the one of you or the two of you in case you're hunting through the hunting through that uh, long grass and you don't want the snakes the old snake to get up and bite you because we've got some we got some not so friendly snakes here in the land of Oz so there we are we're back out of the treacherous part we've left that behind we're going to continue along the nice part all right madam Are you happy now we're out of that bit yeah yeah <laughs> all right let's go back up here i want to show the folks before it's actually quite nice serenity by the lake all right stopping at all the little photo opportunities in the course she's come across some little blackberries look at that you could just about eat those all right so a couple of lovely folks just going for a walk a little bit like us just gave us a little bit of a warning be careful there are some snakes down here the copperhead the lily lip i think he said and i think he did say there was a few tiger snakes down here but keep your eyes open folks most importantly when you're walking through the bush here it's nice that light through those through the leaves there of that fern it's yeah. quite pretty it's a nice time of nice time of day here with that sun light highlighting the trees the leaves etc like that it's nice yeah. it was a good spot to find good spot to explore absolutely I wonder what else we'll see down here. Do you think we'll see some snakes like that guy was saying? I don't think so. I don't know. Got to keep your eyes open. Right, so it looks like this tree has fallen and instead of moving the whole tree, so the habitat remains in place, they've actually cut the tree and allowed that pathway to continue. Just another beautiful, beautiful spot. Can try and zoom in a little bit for you just over the lake all right back on the track we just passed one gentleman he said he was gonna go and try and do a little bit of fishing you know as you know as he said it from his words a couple of hours we'll give it a shot a little bit of relaxation I said that's what it's it that's what it's all about come down relax just enjoy it you know as he said the serenity as well so he's on the same wavelength you know, as us a little bit, just getting out here in nature. We're just about back now. We've done the path, we've done the track. I think that's about all we can walk here. The other side has actually has actually got the road. So we're back here at the path. Um, so there we go. I might actually stick the drone back up a little bit, just so I give you an overview of the area and the car park etc like that i know i did show you the water before but i might stick it up again to show you you know the car park spot here and the park bit where you can actually sit and all that type of stuff so if you want to have something to eat you will find a friend little ducky there is waiting for something to eat wink, 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 wink. Wink, 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 wink. Cool's got a few goodies there for a snack. And look who's there waiting. Hello, Mr. Duck.
right, folks, well, that's what we've got for you down here at Aura Vale Lake in Seville. Uh, beautiful spot. All I can say is come down and enjoy it. Take a little bit of a wander. As I said, it's not too big, so you can walk it easy, even like 30 minutes, like what we did, um, from one end to the other. As I said, that other track going through the bush, you probably wouldn't recommend that. You know, even the other guy said, beware of snakes down here. So yeah, it did look a little bit too bushy. I don't think I'd travel down there. Um, but the paths we did were absolutely fantastic and you get to see the lake all the way or, you know, chuck in a fishing line. I know it said prohibited, but people, you know, they come down, relax and do a bit of fishing. Uh, enjoy the serenity, bring a picnic down. Uh, you've got all the beautiful area. You've got the tables, you've got tree coverage. So you got it all down here. You enjoy it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a nice place to come, nice place to come. As I said, get down here on the weekday because there's not many people here. You get a car spot really, really easy. But that's all we've got for good folks out there. Like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, and all that type of jazz. But until next time, folks. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. And we'll see you in the next vid.